in Ocala. Yeah, it's, it's, it's I, I've golf. been there going to and from Georgia. We usually go to yeah. Ocala. And it's I went there to take a shit one time. Just looking at it, it, it just didn't looks, even end up taking the show. Yeah, <laughs> so that's it's just like it just. Oh yeah. No, no, no. It's the place terrible. Is fucking place. worthless. Yeah, that's why is. you're here. Yeah, I, I, like, I had to get out of there immediately. Like seriously, driving through Florida, I feel like I'm in Georgia for like yeah, <laughs> yeah. For like twenty no, he's minutes. Right. There's like twenty he's minutes right. of driving through Georgia, and then you're back into Florida, and then you enter Georgia. Like, <laughs> there are so many things wrong with Ocala. There's like, uh, you got people that are like. Murdering people and stashing their bodies places? Yeah, that's a whole different story. Did you guys, did you guys hear about that? No. Uh, all right, so let me. Get, here's the story. The kid that got murdered was 15. I guess he was dating this chick, and a uh, um, buddy of mine lived down the same road she lived down, and like her and her brother would walk around bare feet. We'd always call them the dirty gingers because they were redhead. Sorry, Adam. <laughs> Sorry, Adam. I instinctively <laughs> looked at him. Okay, so what she does is she texts him, and she's like, Oh, I want to like, you know, get back together, work things out, meet me here, and it's uh, at that 18 year old dude's house. And like, right when he walks in, they start like beating his ass, and uh, I guess he started fighting back and started beating their ass, and like, what? <laughs> and then what? <laughs> and then one kid like shoots him, <clears throat> and like, uh, People in Ocala have guns. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's, that's right. You, whenever you're born, they just give you a gun. <laughs> you were born in Ocala. Well, here's your gun. Yeah. Ocala yeah. And, well, not, but he lived there. He's from Ohio. But oh. he had so many guns. <laughs> they, they, they pass him around. So anyway, they shot him. And then, like, they beat the shit out of him more. And then, <laughs> whenever they shot him, of course, they didn't kill him. So they put him in a bathtub. And he was, like, still alive. And then they, like, tried to put him in a bag. He wouldn't fit in the bag, so they cut up his fucking body. I, I can just see them with a plastic bag from Publix. Like, yeah, these, these I, are... I can get his uh, head and one shoulder. Uh, <laughs> these this are, isn't working. Yeah, these, like, these? these are criminal masterminds. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so they start cutting up his body, and then they, I guess they put him in a bag, and then they they burn this bag, uh, or they burn his body like outside like a fire pit. Meanwhile, <clears throat> I told you, like, Summerfield is all like, farmland but where they lived it was down a dirt road but there were people that lived over there like nobody heard the gunshots like i'm pretty sure burning body smells like dick <laughs> uh but nobody <laughs> for the record a burning body smells like <laughs> dick <laughs> i don't know but like, on out. but like dick after a gym like something like that if you work out dirty yeah. dirty it doesn't dirty. smell like regular dick well, like, yeah, 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 i'm pretty dirty. sure leave jim out of this <laughs> dirty a dirty dick a dirty like from there where they found out everything that shit the shit was crazy that's the town i grew up in ocala <laughs> yep so population 300 <laughs> and lowering <laughs> yeah there are a fuck ton of people there is there uh, there is now, like, like, a lot, yeah. I mean, eight, ten And there's, like, this there. weird, like, foolish pride about, like, Ocala. Like, I don't know. Like, people get stuck there. Like, they get married early, and they have kids early, and they just fuck up their life, so they stay there. But instead of, like... Being I'm, sad about it. Yeah, they kind of embrace it. <laughs> I mean, Ocala is so much worse than... Like, it's... <clears throat> In, in regards to thinking, like, how Richmond Hill is, like, a really... It's like not a small that, town, but, yeah, like, It's not yeah. that really hickish, since it's mostly army people there. Well, it's like not that. that anymore. Yeah, but, I mean, Ocala is... How you made me think Richmond Hill was going to be, that's how Ocala is. And the people that were responsible for this murder were, like, uh... You know, the white people that try to be black. You know, it so pisses me off when I ever hear anyone in Florida with a southern accent. Yeah. It makes me mad. Yeah. You're in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. This isn't the South. We're in the South. This isn't the South. And there's a lot of there's a lot of rednecks there. Yeah, and it's, it, it's ridiculous. And like, like I can understand if you're country. Like I know a lot of people that are country. Like I have some pretty good friends that are country. And by country, I mean like they just live on a farm and they have trucks or whatever. But they're country not like, are the people that can you know <clears throat> go fishing with nothing. Right. But but then you have these like these rednecks in Ocala are not country. Everything just. Everything that's wrong lives in Ocala. Like, you got people that look like the Jersey Shore people. Yeah. With their hair all... God, I fucking all hate like Super, super, super like, Saiyan. Freaking, yeah. Oh, yeah. I hate them. <laughs> I hate here's, so here's the bottom line. Ugh. You get off I-75 in Ocala, it should say, Welcome to Ocala, in parentheses, Land of Bad Decisions. <laughs> you, get <on> three, <laughs> you get on 301, it should just be like, well, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just Turn science questioning you. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's like, do not come here, you're gonna get, it's like Silent Hill, you're gonna get stuck. The 301, just keep going. The, <laughs> like the sign says, just keep going. Instead of, instead like, of, if you're driving on 301, you may as well pack a tent, <laughs> just because <laughs> you're gonna have to start over if you break down near yeah. Ocala. I mean, I like, I like visiting and, and seeing all the people doing the same things they before. <laughs> before they <die. laughs> yeah. I like visiting and seeing all the people before they kill one another. Yeah. Literally like a you're block. You're not from Ocala, right? Weren't you just, didn't you just live there? No, I'm from there. Oh, you're actually from, from there? there? Yeah. Get out. <laughs> yeah, I'm from like there, yeah. and die on your way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from there, and uh, actually, <laughs> I was born in Ocala. Like, there's only one hospital in Ocala, so obviously I had to be born there. <laughs> but there's, uh, but there's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's plenty of bathtubs and public restrooms. <laughs> my parents were sophisticated. I was born, although my mom did drive herself to the hospital. Which is, Pretty cool, I guess. But uh, she tells me that every year. That's damn. Well, growing up in Ocala, like I always felt, even as like a seven-year-old, I was like, I need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> like, so I was like, I need to leave. You got out the wound. Well, I'm I need pretty to leave sure after place. seven years, my mom told me I drove myself. To <laughs> you owe me everything. <laughs> so I I moved to Tampa. Really, and I always hear people. Why did you pick Tampa for the school? Yeah. Yeah. For the artists, and that's why you moved here. Yeah, so pretty much.